Hello everyone, welcome back to my new video. I really want to apologize to all of you, that I have not uploaded any video for about 4 months, and made you wait a lot, but I could not stop myself from seeing your support and love. Just a few days ago, we achieved the milestone of 500 subscribers, because of your continuous support and love. And therefore, I want to thank all of you with gratitude. Anyway, today we are going to create social media lower third, in After Effects. So, let's have a look. So, let's get started. Create a new composition, and name it to social media lower third. As always, I am using 1920 by 1080 resolution, with 60 frames per second, and 6 seconds long. Hit OK. Now go to Tools panel, and select the Ellipse tool. By holding shift, make a perfect circle. And change its color to white. Let's rename this layer as, circle. Now zoom in. And press Ctrl plus R to activate the ruler. Then drag these lines to edge of the circle, horizontally and vertically. It will make easier to create the other shapes in a perfect alignment to the circle. Now go to the tools, and select the rectangle tool. And make a rectangle, by leaving some space between the circle. Let's rename this layer as rectangle. Now open the content menu, and then rectangle path 1. Then, make roundness to around this. Now let's remove the ruler lines, because now we don't need them. Their job is over. Now select the rectangle layer, and press Ctrl plus D, to make the duplicate of it. And then rename it to Rectangle Mat. And change its color to some different color. For this time, let's hide this layer. Now select the text tool, and type any text you want. I am using Coco Goose font, with regular size. Now again add the second text, and type anything. And make its size bigger from the first text. And align it perfectly. Now import any photo in the project file, you also go with text. Place it into the timeline. Then, press S to open scale properties. And make it smaller. Align it to the center of the circle layer. Now right click on the image layer, and pre-compose it. Name it as logo and hit OK. Now we have to animate our lower third. But before, we have to connect the logo layer with the circle, using parent tool. 
If you can't see this tool, right click here, go to columns, and select this option. Now select this pick whip, and drag it to the circle layer, then release it. Now select the circle layer, and press S to open scale. And then add a keyframe on it, drag the keyframe to around 1 second. And then make the scale value to 0. But as you can see, that our circle is not animating nicely. This is because, our anchor point is not aligned perfectly to the center of the circle. To correct this error, simply select the layer, and press Y on your keyboard. Then drag and align this anchor point in center, and then press Ctrl key, to align the anchor point, perfectly to the center. Cool. Now we have to animate our second layer, which is rectangle. Select this layer, and press P to open position. Go to around 1 second, and add a keyframe on it. Drag this keyframe to around this frame. And then decrease the X value of position to around this. Now change the track mat of rectangle layer to alpha mat. Now it's time to animate our both text layers. Select the both layers, and press P to open position. And add a keyframe on it. Then drag this keyframe to around this frame. And then increase the X value of position, to around this. Now select the rectangle layer, and press Ctrl plus D double time, to make the duplicate of it. Then place both duplicated layers, above on the each of the text layers. Then change the track mat of both duplicated layers, to none. And change the track mat of both the text layers, to alpha mat. Now select all the keyframes, and hit F9 to easy ease them. Open Graph Editor, and make the curve, something like this. But now as you can see, that our both text is not revealing correctly. To correct this error, select both the duplicated layers. And press U, to open all the keyframes. By holding Shift, select these keyframes. And drag it, that it matches with the text layer's keyframes. Also, Hit F9 to easy ease them, open graph editor, and make the curve something like this. Now enable the motion blur effect of these layers. And then click here to activate it. Now RAM preview this to see our animation. Now go to around 3 seconds. Select first both keyframes, press Ctrl plus C to copy it, and press Ctrl plus D to paste it. Repeat this step, on all the remaining keyframes. Adjust your keyframes according to your need. Then press N, to set the end timing. Now select all the last keyframes, right click on it, go to keyframe assistant, and select time reverse. Now press Ctrl plus A, to select all the layers, and then press U to hide all the keyframes. RAM preview this to see our final animation. This looks perfect now. 
If you want to render this footage without background, simply click here. And then it will remove the black background from the footage. RAM preview this, and our animation is complete, you can download this full project file from the link in the description. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial, make sure to check out my other videos from here, and don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and ask me what you want in the comment section. I'll see you next week, thanks for watching this tutorial, have a good day. But wait, before I end this video. I like to thank all of you, for your continuous support. Recently, we have crossed 500 subscribers. It is possible only because of you guys. Thank you so much, and, as always, I'll see you in the next one.